Hello, welcome to the presentation, Assistive Robotics. We present here another applications of robots that can help humans in hospitals and for different treatments in health fields. The author of the presentation is Jane Maja, and this is a virtual avatar automatically generated for guiding you throughout this presentation contents. The robotic processes that replace arms, hands or legs, or the orthoses that help compensate certain dysfunctions, are all being intensively researched and certain promising results are fully applicable. Prostheses have experienced significant advances in recent years, partly due to the social demand that has arisen as a result of armed conflicts. The achievements of the Luke Arms are noteworthy. Its 10 independent movements are controlled from a variety of interface devices in order to better adapt to each individual user. Furthermore, the re work carried out at the Regenstein Center for Bionic Medicine in Chicago is also worth noting. After fitting a patient who has undergone an amputation with a motorized artificial arm, they give control of the new arm to the patient through restoring the nerves that originally ended in the muscles of the amputated arm in the patient's chest. By doing this, the nerve signals originating from the mental intention to move the arm become contractions of the chest muscles, which are captured by myelectric sensors and used to move the processes. In rehabilitation, it is often necessary for the patient to repeat certain movements with a specific amplitude and strength. Robots can reproduce, in a planned and controlled manner, movements that the rehabilitation therapist would normally perform on the patient. Successful case has been evidenced using the Atlas system of Marcy Bionics. Consists of an exoskeleton that helps in the rehabilitation and mobility of children with neuromuscular diseases, cerebral palsy, CP, and others. CP Walker System is a robotic walker designed to help post-surgical rehabilitation of children with cerebral palsy. Other systems with an international market are those commercialized by Hakoma, the Lockamet System to rehabilitate walking or the Armio System for upper limbs. For people that have suffered an injury that has immobilized any part of their body, there are robotics arm to facilitate recovery of the patient. The nursing staff moves the robot to their room and places it on the part of the body that needs rehabilitation. By pressing the start button, the robot enters to learning mode and the nursing staff only need to perform the movements with therapeutic value ones. From that single exercise, the robot will be able to memorize the movement and execute it autonomously as many times as necessary. In case of sudden movements or any influence of unexpected forces, the robot has a security system that stops it immediately. The most interesting thing about this robot is that it adapts to the patient's condition through three enabling levels. For patients with a reduced or non-existent functional level, the robot is responsible for performing the movements, thus favoring early rehabilitation. For patients who are in an intermediate phase of recovery, the robot becomes an assistant since it will perform only those movements that the patient is not yet able to complete by himself. In the final phase of rehabilitation, the robot will oppose resistance to any movement made by the patient thus getting him to fully recover all his functional force. Of course, all these levels and robotic exercises will always be supervised by the health personnel. The robot won't replace nurses but will be great help for their hard daily work. 